Okay, I'm gonna skip all the way down here because we all know that you know sweating is natural and you should shower after that happens. Um, my favorite are the guys at cons who decide to go on an all-night drinking binge in their Vinyl Organization 13 costumes. <laughs> Which, of course, is the only article of clothing they brought for the entire weekend. <laughs> Not only do they wake up hungover, but are detoxing all the next day. And congoers are treated to the wonderful stink of bad body odor, combined with the scent of stale beer, vodka, whiskey, or tequila, mixed with, as Palpatine puts it, Old burnt, old feet wrapped in burnt bacon. Leathery. Yes. Yeah, that. I have that, and I don't even know. Anyway, um, sometimes the smell is so bad it can make your eyes water and peel paint. I suggest that if the stinking injured party is hungover, uh, you should go over to him and talk about your last bad sushi experience, and then follow it up with an invitation to lunch at your favorite deli with, uh, that specializes in salted pork and strong cheeses. For the love of Satan and his mighty red midgets, if you get trashed the night before, get up, shower, change clothes, take a chaser, and drink lots of water. Do it! Don't advertise Can your you fun can. times with your armpit hairs. I knew a guy who tried to cover his smelling of a dog with Axe deodorant, and Axe is shit. I you agree. It, never look at it again. Throw it away. It is not a substitute for deodorant, and it does not smell good, even if the antiperspirant they sell is, is just barred shit. It does not work on anything or anyone and that I know of whatsoever, and it smells like Aquanet doused in a bottle of menthol. And spraying it all over the halls will not rid the air of con funk. It only compounds it. Dear Axe Sprayer, I'm sure that you're the patron saint of con aroma, but please stop. There's a difference between the power of marketing and the actual truth of women not being attracted to a guy who smells like mezcal over old spice. Ah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's go to these. These are just where we need to be. Um, bathe daily. Regular bathing helps keep the number of bacteria on your skin in check. Bacteria shit is called pathogens, folks. And they stink. Less bacteria equals less path pathogens. Pathogens. Just once. Because that's all I can say. Less pathogens, less pathogens, less pathogens, less pathogens. Equals less stink. <laughs> Dry your feet thoroughly after you bathe. Microorganisms thrive in the damp spaces between your toes. Use OTC foot powders to help absorb sweat. Even baby powder helps and is especially useful when wearing those big ass superhero boots. Or demonia boots. Yep. They don't breathe as Choose shoes and socks made of natural materials. Shoes made of natural materials such as leather can help prevent sweaty feet by allowing your feet to breathe. If you can afford it, opt out those painted irrigation boots for some nice leather ones. It really makes a difference with hygiene too. Rotate your shoes. That means if you have, if it's a four day con, have like two pairs of shoes. Wear the right socks. Cotton and wool socks help keep your feet dry. And they're great for dances and cosplays. Change your socks often, um, once or twice a day, not once or twice over the weekend. If they're crusty, do not put them back on your feet. <laughs> that's what I say. Um, you wear pantyhose, like Steven does. Just... I'm not wearing right now. Oh. <laughs> um, wear ones with cotton soles, air your feet. Go barefoot when you can, or at least slip out of your shoes now and then. I know an icon it can be difficult per hotel rules, so get a pair of flip-flops. Shh, don't tell me. <laughs> and, uh, so, and, and brush your damn teeth, please. Yeah. Often, like after you eat, not just once a day. Good idea. Lesson two. Quit playing games and not the video game kind. You can do that all you want, and I thoroughly give you the seal of approval. But really. Why are you trying to find the perfect girl? First of all, she doesn't exist. Yeah. Can I get three volunteers? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I, okay. You can be a volunteer. Uh, here, you pick, you pick one. What, uh, pick. Kelly's going to pick. Who's, who are you pointing at? You? In the ninja shirt? And, uh... We need one other. Who do you, uh, uh, Sham Wow. Oh, zombie Sham Wow now. You soak up the brains with your Sham Wow? Actually, yes. 
I mean, it's made in Germany, so you, you know, know it's got to be good yeah. because the Germans make everything good. Like so for sure. Okay, so one more time, I need you guys to describe the perfect girl or guy, depending on your preferences. So you can go first, ninja boy. Yeah, here. Procure this microphone. Smart, attractive, funny, kind, and I Face don't the anything else on a whim. <laughs> That's a gold star. Good answer. Uh, there's really only one thing. Uh, you have to be able to have fun with them. That's about it. That is yeah. a good answer. See, you don't have, you don't have, you don't have standards that are too high, and that's good because if you get too high of standards, then you're never going to attain them. It's also the other way around. You have too low. Yeah, don't settle too. You need someone who makes you happy. But we'll get to that. Shamwa. Uh, the perfect individual for me is usually somebody who shares a lot of my common interests and is okay with the house being messy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys all did really good and you can go sit back down now because uh, if any of you said uh, the quintessential uh, blonde with big boobs blow up doll, we were going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Just saying, it even says so on the script. Okay, so. As I said before, you can't get the perfect girl. So you get this like preconceived idea in your head, and you think that that girl's right for you. Well, if it, that's the case, honestly, you're a dumbass. Because just because a girl has a nice rack and she looks really good doesn't mean that she's into you. You have to find someone that's on the same wavelength of you. And if you keep acting like such hot shit and not being yourself, how the hell will she ever be into you if she doesn't know you. Now I see that a lot. So before the dance, before Saturday, before the con itself, we're rewinding all the way back. Let's go all the way back to at least a week before the con. So you're at home, you're playing video games with your friends and hanging out, right? What do you guys talk about? Do you talk about the latest episode of Robot Chicken? Do you talk about how you're leveling on World of Warcraft? Do you talk about the latest meme on 4chan, like, these topics are perfectly acceptable to discuss with someone that you're trying to woo, because, I did say woo, woo! <laughs> because talking to a significant other, and in this case, as, as the panel is how to talk to guys, I will refer to, or girls, I will refer to everyone as girls, even though that's not essentially the case, um, it's basically the exact same thing as talking to guys. So when you meet a person in order to be their friend and not just them, you treat that person with dignity and respect, like you would treat a friend. It's a simple process. There are introductions, conversation starters, listening, and if things go well, an exchange of information. The thing is, if you're true to yourself 100%, then this process will be smooth. Be yourself, that is the key here. Some people have argued my point on how important this is by saying things like, what if the person you're talking to doesn't like you? What if being yourself irritates them or makes them uncomfortable? Well, to hell with them. They wouldn't make a very good companion, then would they? And it's better that they know you as yourself than to be surprised a few months or years down the road. So skip yourself all the pain and misery and just get it right the first time. If you do that, the perfect girl or guy will eventually be drawn to you naturally because they will be like you. So I need three more volunteers. Okay, you, uh, blue hair, and uh, uh, Murloc. What? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have a typical conversation. This is this is an example. So, what's your name? My name's Molly. Carrera. Jeremiah. Carrera. Jason. Okay, and what are your hobbies? This stuff. <laughs> World domination. <laughs> Anime, video games, and pretty much anything nerdy. Okay, so now tell me a little bit about your hobbies and why you like them. Why else? <laughs> <laughs> I just like power a lot. <laughs> I love the creative environment that nerdiness presents to me. You win. Yeah. No, but really. We, uh, 
I, I, I share all of those interests. I think we should hang out more. My email address is awesomesauce at awesometown.com. Thanks, you guys can sit down. Wow, this is fine. Honestly, participating in a conversation is not hard.